I spawned in as normal and I went to punch some tree. Wait a minute. Something doesn't seem right. Oh well. I went to find some trees to get some wood. Then I heard a hiss. And I don't know where it was. So I made a wooden pickaxe and examined this mushroom which made the hissing sound. And I collected some stone to make a stone pick. Then I killed a mushroom. I also made some stone tools so I can explore the nether. I made my way to some basalt iron. While doing some exploring, I made a shield and I tried to kill a hoglin. But it didn't go well, so I ran away. Then I died to a basalt skeleton. I returned to the crimson forest and was attacked by the crimson skeleton, which was very annoying. And I definitely didn't get rid of the mod that got them. Why? Because I didn't like it. And if you don't like it, then complain in the comments. Later on, I attacked the shroomlin, which dropped a bomb, which I never used. Then I died. I got back and got some iron and made some armor. I can't sleep in the nether, so the days are longer and I can do more stuff, which is great. But each recording is like 3 hours, and that takes a lot of memory, and it makes the game feel a lot slower. Anyway, I went strip mining to find some new areas, and while exploring, I found this piglin camp, but I died. I got more wood, but I was attacked by a hoglin and a skeleton, which I dealt with. When they died, I got some meat, which was useful, but I had no coal, so I had to make a camp for her. Then I died. Then I died another time. Then I killed a basalt skeleton, but I died to another skeleton. I made an iron sword and went exploring. Day 3, I stripped mine in one direction to see where I landed. And while mining, I found netherite, which was really cool, but I didn't have a diamond pick, so I left it for later. While mining, I found a dungeon with really weird doors, and some pretty good loot. I blocked off the doors to make exploring easier, but was killed by a giddy blaze. Anyway, I found the spawner room for the blazes, so I took my time killing them. The dungeon was basically the same with one chest and a spawner room. When the area was cleared out, I decided to make this my base, so I got rid of the walls and pillars. When that was done, I made some furnaces, then I went to get some wood, but was attacked by shroomlins for some reason, and I died. I blocked off the staircase and decided to explore, but I got withered and died to a blaze. I went out exploring and got some wood. Day 5, I fell off plus ratioed. I then traded some gold with a trapped piglin. I went out exploring and tried to kill a soul skeleton. I got back and made a shield and continued my exploring and killed another soul skeleton. I tried getting past this magma cube, but I was pushed out of the way and fell to my death. I went back to exploring and found a structure, but I died before I could explore it. I got back and took the coal blocks that are blocking the entrance and killed some withers. I made my way down to the lower levels, but I didn't survive, so I decided to leave and come back when I'm stronger. I also found a mob spooner with blazes, which was pretty cool. I continued exploring and found a desert temple with a chest, so I tried opening it, but I forgot about the TNT. And I lost some stuff. I got home and made an iron pick and continued exploring, and while doing so, I found this structure with meh loot, but it looked pretty cool. And I killed some endermans to get some ender pearls, and while exploring, I found this cool structure with wither skeleton spawners. And it dropped his skeleton head. The loot was alright, and the reinforced blazes were super strong. I got to the main room and saw a bunch of ore, so I used some blocks to mine it. The ore was tungsten and is used to make strong armor. I just needed to kill some more reinforced blazes. I made some tungsten armor and tools, which made me a lot stronger. I continued exploring and found another blaze dungeon, 
so I killed some blazes to get some more materials for more armor. I got home and made a new shield and with my new defenses I went out exploring and I found another wither dungeon. I killed the wither and the vex to get the gold, however I didn't realize I could get netherite if I cleared the whole dungeon. I left and found another blaze dungeon. While exploring I found a glowstone canyon which looks amazing, but I had low health and died to a frog. I went back and found another piglin dungeon. I did some trading with them and collected some wither skulls. I went to the top and it got tons of gold, food and netherite scraps. I left and found another wither dungeon and a piglin tower. I made a smoker and used the coal that I got from the dungeon to cook the food. And at the end of the day I traded some gold with the piglins. Day 11 I found another wither dungeon and I went down to the lower levels. I collected the gold and I collected the chest and I freed the piglin prisoner. I went lower down and found a nether portal with netherite debris on it. Debris? Debris? I don't know. These dungeons have tons of netherite in it and because I have a mod that adds new netherite armor and tools, it will make me incredibly overpowered. I left and found myself in a crimson forest and I was ganged up on by shroomlings. At home I smelled the debris and went to the blaze dungeon to get some more tungsten. I made some new armor and an anvil to combine some bows that I got. I also made an enchantment table but I needed bookshelves. I cleared another wither dungeon for some more netherite. Day 13 I did some more exploring and found another blaze dungeon which at the time I didn't know could spawn a boss. The same thing goes with my base. The end loot wasn't that good. I left and I continued exploring and found some nether ore which is something that I didn't add right now. Anyway I found another blaze dungeon cleared it and left to kill some endermen. As I was walking I found a jungle temple in the nether and it had some pretty good loot. I also found a nether fortress. I killed some blazes and left it because it didn't have anything that I needed. I also found this cool area with a black stone dwarf which dropped a golden apple when they die. So I killed all of them. Also the chest had tons of gold. I placed down some bookshelves I made from the books that I got from the blaze dungeon and I put down the enchantment table. But I needed more bookshelves so I went out to find some more blaze dungeons because their books are in the chests. I also made some netherite and upgraded it with iron because I didn't realize that I needed a plain netherite set first then I can upgrade it with the iron netherite. So I had to use the netherite iron later. Anyway, I found a blaze dungeon, I got some books and some mending books which is really cool and useful. I placed down the lost bookshelves and got a level 30, I then enchanted my armor. With my newfound protection, I found a bastion and decided to go through it. I didn't die which is really good. The main chest had a netherite ingot inside, so I only needed 3 more ingots for a full set. Day 17, I cleared another wither dungeon. I went home and enchanted some diamond armor, starting with my boots, and I combined them with Unbreaking 3. When I was happy with them, I upgraded them to netherite. I got some XP to get looting 2 on my sword. Then I combined it with sharpness. I then went to kill some reinforced blazes because they drop a lot of XP. Okay, I kinda forgot to record me enchanting my armor and upgrading my armor with netherite and also upgrading my sword to iron netherite. So, yeah, my bad. Unacceptable! Day 23, I smelled some netherite, which I got from the dungeons and combined them with their wither skeleton skull to upgrade my armor. Warning, don't do this. Withering isn't that bad and most mobs don't wither you. I should not have done this and I will regret this later. I also made a gold netherite ingot to upgrade my sword. Then I made an emerald netherite ingot, ingot, ingot to upgrade it again. And finally used the diamond netherite to fully upgrade my sword. I also made an iron netherite pick. Day 24 I decided to use a strider which was fun but I never used them again. I realized my mistake so I made a new set of armor to upgrade.
I went out exploring to find some netherite and I used these cool ender pearls which gave me feather falling. Okay, I'm just gonna skip to the moment I upgrade my armor because no one deserves watching me aimlessly wander the nether. And I'm lazy. I just needed a bit more netherite. So I went back to exploring. I upgraded my chest plate to blaze right and I made bl another blaze right and upgraded my pants. But I needed more netherite. So back to exploring. Day 34, I decided to take a break and kill the widow. So enjoy. The fight was pretty hard, but was manageable. I then used the nether star to summon a boss. And this boss was kinda annoying. But I got this cool weird file. So yeah. I killed another wither to summon another boss. The awful ghost was actually hard, but I managed to defeat it and I dropped a gas to gun, which looks hilarious but comes in clutch later. Day 35 I made some new armor because I thought it looked cool. I then went back to finding netherite. It's like finding Dory or Nemo but with netherite. I got enough netherite and made the blaze right boots. I then made my way to the boss dungeon which I found while finding netherite. I got ready and started the fight.
No, I wasn't the one that added in the music. It also dropped this cool hammer and a horn, which I will use later. When that was done, I decided to find another one. Not find. Fight another one because I already found him earlier. I then found the other boss area, or should I say, arena. Anyway, I walked up the stairs and found this cool looking blaze, which is probably the second hottest mob in this mod pack. It drops some ashes as well. I used the ash and summoned the boss and it looked amazing. And this boss was really hard. Anyway, it dropped some ingots which I can use to make a really cool sword. I went home to make a special helmet which I get after killing the netherite monstrosity and a sword from the blaze ingots. And they look amazing. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. And if you want to see anything else, leave in the comments. See ya.